Uh, I don't have to worry about playing defense, so I'll worry about playing offense. How aggressive have they been? What you've seen on tape and what kind of challenges that present? It's an extremely aggressive defense. They do a good job. They throw a lot of pressures at you, uh, bring it from all over, and really test you. So that's going to be a, a key for us this week is being clean on all those things and uh, you know trying to take advantage of some opportunities that are there when they do pressure. Ryan, you hadn't really had what anybody would call a subpar game with all your starts here. I wonder if last week's game was subpar, is that kind of your next challenge to show you can bounce back from you know a, a less than ideal game? Yeah, it was just kind of the way the game unfolded. You know, we knew going in that uh, it was a tough defense and we we're going to run the football and we ran it a lot and it was, it was successful for us and Derek and the O-line did a great job. So, um, you know, just kind of how the game played out, obviously, you know, look to be uh, look to be more balanced and, and get the ball in the air a little more this week. But, uh, you know, every game's a little different. We'll see how it plays out. How much did they try to throw off your timing with the uh, jamming guys at the line? The Baltimore. Patriots? Oh, Baltimore. Um, they do. They do a, a good mix-up. You know, they'll they'll jam some at the line, uh, do some of that, and they'll play. You know, their zone pressures behind it. They'll they do a lot of everything. So, uh, kind of really have to be ready for not only pressure at the line of scrimmage, but also their zone coverages and and uh, change-ups as well. They seem to do really well in man coverage behind a lot of those pressures. What kind of challenges does that present to to you guys in the passing game? Oh, well, you know, they they bring a lot of zero pressure. So uh, when they do that, they got one more that you can block and. And guys have to get open quickly. So uh, that'll be a challenge for us is, is to take advantage of those man situations. You know, if we get a, a catch and run, break one tackle, and it's a, it's a touchdown. So um, I know we have guys that can do that. And um, just have to be clean. Be clean up front with, with our rules and who's blocking who. And then on the outside, just have to be able to get open and get the ball out. And what about a guy like Earl Thomas as a post safety? What does he bring to the table? He's a veteran guy. He's played a lot of football. I have a ton of respect for him. Uh, he moves around all over the place. You know, he'll play low. He'll play high. He'll pressure, you know, he really does a lot for him, uh, moving all over the place. So a guy we have a lot of respect for and are going to have to account for. Derek gets a lot of deserved credit for how well you guys run the ball, but how well has the offensive line played in front of him to allow that to happen and allow you to stay upright? Well, it's huge. You know, you, uh, Derek's obviously extremely talented, uh, but it all starts up front. You know, they got to cover guys up and, and give him a chance, give him a crease, uh, and then he's able to use his, his natural ability, uh, get him on that second level, give him an edge, and then he's able to show what he can do. But uh, it all starts up front with those guys blocking him and then creating that space. And, and they've done a great job. I think they've gotten better as the year has gone on. And you can kind of see that as, as Derek's really gotten going the second half of the season. Ryan, being in your first postseason, does that make it easier to focus on the obviously huge task at hand Saturday and ignore the fact that uh, your next the, the next loss could be your last game with this franchise? Yeah, let me think about that. You know, it's just. Uh, focus on the game at hand. You know, obviously, an uh, extremely tough team we're going up against, and do everything I can to, uh, to get ready to play and go win a game. You mentioned the zero blitz. What, what's the key for you when you know you're likely to get hit on a play to make sure you still execute the play? Just know your answers. Know know where you can go with the football, uh, and sometimes you got to hang in and stare down the barrel and, and make a throw. You know, I just uh, there's going to be opportunities to, to get the ball quickly, and sometimes it's going to be hanging in there and, and trying to make a play. There's a lot of first round picks in that secondary. Is as deep of a group as there is in the league? Uh, I would have to take a, a second look, but I, I know they're talented. I know they're talented across the board. Um, they got a long, uh, tough, physical corners. Uh, Humphreys, they move him inside, and he's, he's a big physical nickel. Uh, their back end is, is physical. So they got a lot of guys who played a lot of football and, and play at a high level. So definitely a ton of respect for them. You mentioned staring down the blitz. That's basically what you did on the touchdown at first. Or did you <coughs> kind of look back and take us through that play? Yeah, that was a cover zero look there where they uh, you know, brought one more than we could block and we're playing man coverage on the outside. Ferk did a nice job of, of beating his guy and then I was able to uh, get him the football. What did they put into uh, to double teaming AJ last week and, and what can he learn from that, do you think, Brian? They did, they doubled him some. They, they doubled, uh, kind of moved the doubles around depending on who was where and, and what the down distance was. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a tough group, but you know, I think AJ will, will bounce back. Uh, I mean, it's not pressure. I mean, I think that uh, we know we're, we're going against a, a talented offense, and it's probably going to take more points than, than we scored last week to, to win the game. Um, but, you know, every week you're looking to go score more than 14 points. Obviously, you just want to win the game. But, uh, 
yeah, you don't ever think like, hey, 14 points is all we need this week, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think we need to be better all the way around. As a quarterback, as one who's been in the league for a while, have you watched much of Lamar Jackson? What do you think about his skill set and just how he's, he's been as such a young guy? I, I haven't watched a ton. You know, I saw a couple games when they were on this, this year, and uh, Braves pretty much showed us a highlight tape <laughs> earlier this morning. It's pretty incredible, just the, the speed he has, uh, the elusiveness, his, his ability to, to break open field runs and then make guys miss. You know, cutting full speed is, is pretty incredible. And you pair that with, obviously, a talented arm and a guy who can throw the ball as well. He's, uh, he's had a heck of a year. The team rushed for 1,200 yards. They're 1,000 yards clear of the next closest team rushing the football. You've been in this league for a while and watched it for a while. Did you ever dream you would see an offense like this in the NFL? Uh, you never really think it's going to gonna play out like that. You know, you think, OK, maybe it happens in college or high school. and. You know, who knows if it's going to work out in, in the league, all the, uh, you know, the, the triple option type stuff. But they've done it extremely well throughout the whole year. Um, they got the guys to do it, and they're really good at it. So I'm glad I'm not on defense. You talked about you know, you may need to score more points, but how, how important do you think it's going to be to maybe control the football, control the clock, keep it out of Jackson's hands? And is that a game plan that, if I give anything away, that you see maybe being a key to success? Well, that's kind of been our, our MO throughout the years. Hey, we want to we march down the field, uh, get the run game going, take advantage of, of stuff we can in the pass game, and uh, you know, score touchdowns when, once we get down in the red zone. Those are a good, really good red zone defense. Uh, it's going to be a challenge for us, but that's going to be crucial crucial downs for us is to come away with seven when we get down there and, and not three. Thank you.